We're going to call now uh, Professor Renata Simão, and he's of the program of, Met of en engineer of UFRJ. Uh, she has an admin. She has a graduation in physics and doctorate in metallurgic engineering. Uh, she is the assistant professor of engineering in the material part in the Copy University. And she uh, has experience with physics and interfaces. She talks about surfaces and especially uh, using micros microscopy of scanning forces. And also, she acts in the modification of surfaces to obtain specific uh, pr properties, especially uh, chemical, chemical stability. And so Professor has 20 minutes to to give her speech. Thank you, the organization, for having uh, invited me. It is a, a pleasure to be here with you and after Peter. And I feel that there is, uh, I feel even happier because he said everything that I wanted to uh, say, because we're going to create a new course. This was an idea that we have had three years ago at the, our university. UFRJ, we were uh, discussing this, I think it, it, this was about three years ago, and we uh, and uh, Professor Rodrigo Capaz was, he's from the phys physics institution, and uh, f he, he worked with physics, but who were, are not working anymore with physics. So we congregated diff different uh, I institutes, the Polytechnic School, the Engineering School, and the Physics Institute, where we ha make efforts uh, in material engineers, where I work. I am a phys physicist. And also in the mechanical area, in nanotechnology, and the people that come from civil engineering. Uh, so this course uh, is in the university. Also, the together with us, the Institute of Biophysics uh, is working with us, is acting, uh, acting uh, strongly. The Macromolecules Institute, uh, also. So we're thinking, let's uh, we're, let's make a, a graduation course, and the model was, uh, as Peter said, it take a. a small parts of each one and make a big group and then we can make a multidisciplinary course. We wanted to have this multidisciplinary course. We believe that nanotechnology is in this area of multidisciplinarity and I think this was very well uh, said. Now, how you're going to uh, make this such a big structure in in universities that are very big, like uh, UFRG and Unicampo, we have some. We have to face some problems. We have the regional councils. Uh, once I, ma I made an interview with Global uh, newspaper, and the, 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 those people asked, "What are the, those people going to do after this graduation?" This is our big question. What? What are they going to do after this? What, what is the uh, regional council that they will be uh, linked to? Is it so important? So there are many issues that we have, and we try to this. Uh, we we try to see this in courses. That one began in 2010. Now we have uh, two two classes. We are with uh, one class 
in, in, in Fundão and another uh, class in Xerém. <clears throat> Basically, we have 40 students. We began uh, smoothly not to stress the market or the university with an excessive number of uh, students f so that the course could continue to see where it, it will take us. Um, we are we are sure about the path that we have chosen. We believe that this path, if we want to give a f multidisciplinary uh, information to uh, to the students, it has to be in the graduation course. After that, it will they maybe won't have this multidisciplinary vision. But maybe after four years, they will start uh, making the, the story. And they will might be defining what is a multidisciplinary formation. I also think that uh, there is another point that is very important, is that Brazil is changing. We haven't been uh, changing. Brazil is changing what we expect of a professional today is different from what we expected in the past. Uh, in the past, an engineer and uh, an engineer would go there and would accompany a process, uh, interfere, make a quality control. In Brazil, an engineer was like that. Brazil today is producing new products, and it has to. He has. To, it has to. Pr produce it because it is a, a demand for us in the universities to, so that we can be able to transfer uh, t new technologies to old companies. So this demand is growing every day, each day more. In the material engineering, we refuse some uh, projects because we don't have time because of all the demand that comes from industry to the university. We are with the huge uh, requirements of new uh, developments, new products uh, that is huge in this in the, in the engineering. We feel this a lot. So we'll have to form new professionals and different professionals. And we the, we believe that these who we want to form in the nano technology, they will have a big capacity of intervening in processes that generate new products. <clears throat> so I got some numbers. Uh, Brazil is the eighth uh, w with um, the eighth um, largest economy by nominal gross domestic product, ninth last largest by purchasing power parity, and and we are increasing. We never evolved so much as we have evolved in 2009. We never grew as much as we grew in 2009. This because of the increase of services. Services are the, the strongest points in the Brazilian economy, but also uh, increase in manufactured and semi-manufactured goods. And, uh, to continue this growth, we need demands. Uh, the demands are the increase of our technological park and development of high technology goods. If we do not do this, we're going to continue always exporting uh, primary materials. And I think that Brazil is not uh, following this. We're trying to change this economical side of uh, part of our, of, of our country. This also about the engineers. I'm going to guide myself uh, always following an engineer. Not that a nanotechnologist is, is uh, uh, the graduate is going to substitute an engineer, but he can act very strongly in the engineering area. And uh, I don't know if uh, I think that engineering is a good uh, with what to compare well. So 
according to the numbers of IPEA, only one in each 3.5 graduated engineers work on engineering. The majority works in other areas, in economy or in administration. So they believe that if Brazil grows 7% a year, we will have a demand of, of almost 150 millions, I uh, no, no, a, a million five hundred thousand engineers, and we will have in 2015 uh, less than a million uh, engineers that will be uh, graduate graduate. So, uh, if Brazil uh, continues in the same rhythm that it is, we're going to need engineers and and well. Uh, people who are formed in the technical area that will be able to generate products and develop new technologies. I think we can pass this, the story of nanotechnology in Brazil. It is recent, but not so recent. In 2001, we had created networks in nanotechnology technology and we have had a good support from the government in this area and I think that this um, uh, makes it possible for us to develop a quality products that are uh, competitive in the nanotechnological wor world. I know a company that uh, is incubated in uh, the university UFRJ. It has one year of creation. It, it is, it is, it has very high technology, and the government is investing strongly in it, as it invests in many companies that it, it creates. All, all these uh, product generation that are. Uh, coming out of the university have had the good support from the government and they are uh, like Nanox, uh, it's it, 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 Nanox from Campinas is an example, from São, uh, São Carlos. It is incredible how this company uh, uh, grew so much in six, seven years and that gives new products of quality and has a uh, the demand of the market so i think that we are capable in the in the nanotechnology our area compete with the internet with the international uh, world we have a list of well established industries who use or who have uh, placed in on their site uh, information about nanotechnology products. There are quite uh, many of them. That uh, So we believe that we can uh, form this profession. This uh, our courses of four years, and uh, this uh, he, this per, uh, person, this graduate, will be able to also do uh, his master's and a doctorate. And the idea is always to follow with a multidisciplinarity. We put together the Institute of Physics, of Biophysics, COPY, and the, uh, the Polytechnical School of uh, Engineering, the Macromolecular Institute of Chemistry. And we wanted to discuss the first model, uh, and as we we tried to uh, get together m many uh, subjects of different uh, courses of biology, chemistry, mathematics, and in and then also the engineering of materials, and put them all together, and to create a multidisciplinary. Uh, subject. Now we have to uh, create new subjects with uh, the nanotechnology emphasis, and uh, we also have to inclu include include uh, rot rotatory s stages. Uh, they have to. Uh, ev every student has to participate of. Uh, these stages and they have to have a, they will have to 
make pass through the laboratories of chemistry, of physics, of um, biophysics, and uh, he will complement his uh, formation, his graduation with these stages. Uh, this initiative with, will also come from a school that that is a school of nanosciences, that is, is a school that is in the fourth edition of, of this year, that we received uh, students from all the different areas, uh, the people who came from the technological area, medical area, biological area, and people who were also w w inside uh, with uh, working with laws and uh, regulation. When we put, bring all these people together, we have ample discussions that make us uh, open our vision towards this. And these rotatory stages here, uh, introduction, uh, research groups, we have about 70 uh, laboratories that are registered in the, in the UFIA Hijata, that is the universe, Federal University of Rio, and also in Shedding. Uh, to s have an idea of how, how is our School of Nine Science and Nanotechnology. It is interdisciplinary. We have uh, teachers that come from the Institute of Physics, of Chemistry, of Macromolecules, even uh, dentistry uh, faculties. We also discuss a lot with them. So we have a big... Uh, interrelation and a uh, big inter interdisciplinary, which is very big. <clears throat> in Shering, in this campus, wh wh why did we want to create this course in two different poles? Uh, since the Jornada, who is a professor of the Physics Institute, and he, he comes from Rio Grande do Sul. As when he became the presidency of the Inmetro, since the day he became the president, he said that Inmetro has to be an institute of metrology as Unishi, as all the other uh, metrology institutes of the, uh, that exist in the year and uh, in the world and that are very good so he wanted to make the metro grow uh, uh, in research and in structure and this happened now we have a huge uh, infrastructure of laboratories so close to rio and he created this new uh, campus so it would be a it would be so the UFRJ can be placed here in this campus. It will, and it will be ready in about one year and a half. Now we are working in a temporary um, branch. We follow the international model, so. Our model is of four years of basic studies, four, four years of st total studies, uh, then basics studies, basic studies in mathematics, physics, chemistry, and biology in the two first years, then uh, subsequent speciality that can be in either physics materials or bio uh, nanotechnology. There is an it, equilibrium between multidisciplinarity, basic formation, and speciality, which means the area of expertise. Then we also have the rotatory internships also. Just to, to go through all this, we have the consortiated laboratories. They are in different groups of the Un Rio's University, UFRJ, and also in the in Metro. And 
once again, uh, our, our curriculum, we have biology, uh, genetics, and we have also a solid structure, introduction of nanotechnology, physics one, two, three, many chemistries, uh, calculation one, two, three, a linear algebra, uh, synthesis and characterization of polymer polymers. So with this, we make uh, um, basic studies. And afterwards, they specialize in physics or materials or in bio nanotechnology. Um, after this, he has to, he will, the, the student who uh, chooses physics, he has to uh, go to biophysics and nanomaterials. So some uh, disciplines uh, follow this way also. Today, we have 36 students in the UFRJ in Fondant, 11 in Chering. We have had more than 10 notes in different journals, and we are uh, students are fantastic. They're very interested. They study a lot. And all the teachers uh, say that those are, our students are excellent. They're so good because they have had so much approval in the disciplines. So we have to give the best that we can and to give them. Uh, I, I hope we'll be able to do this. And thank you very much.